What's going on everybody? Black Limited X here with another video and in this week we got something that I've been wanting to do for a while now. As you can see we got the Limited X in the back here looking beautiful. It's a little dusty, a little dirty, but that's alright. We'll get it clean later. Um, today we're going to be installing the Canyon Performance Air Intake System. As you can see here, I'm going to show that for you guys. Um, I feel like I'm doing a service to the Jeep community because if you go on YouTube and just search Jeep Grand Cherokee Canyon air filter for the 3.6 liter V6, nothing shows up. At least nothing for the current model. I have a 2020. I've seen videos for like a 2013 or like videos for the Durango pops up, videos for the Wrangler pops up. And I'm like, there's nothing for the Jeep Grand Cherokee. I saw one guy and he is, like I said, was an older model, but this is a 2020, so it may be different. So I'm gonna do an in-depth um, and show you guys how to get that installed properly. Um, so come over here with me. The main tools we're really gonna need today is a 5 16 um, bit for the clamp screws. And then we have a, a size T27 torque screw that we're gonna be using to get the cover off of the engine. So I'm going to go ahead and get this hood popped up. Take a look at the engine bay. It's an SRT, bro. Now nah, I'm just playing. Don't kill me, y'all. But we got the V6. Beautiful. Love this engine. This is the stock air box that we're going to be removing this entire front section here is going to be coming out basically um and it's just going to be this little area but it's going to look really nice it's going to look uh look good i'm going to actually start the car up for you guys and do a couple of ribs to show you the stock air box and how it sounds so go ahead and stay right there and take a look at this box sound for you guys it's not bad but this KN is gonna sound much better once we get it on there and get it all together um, so let's go ahead and get it started time to waste so if you come over here and take a look at this the first thing matter of fact first things first I don't want to scratch up the front of my vehicle so what I do is take a little movers mat put it right over the front just tuck it in a bit so it don't fall off Maybe because I'm gonna be leaning on the car a bit probably so just tuck that in a bit I actually was going to unbox this real quick. Yes, I pre-opened it. That's okay. Now, get the instructions here. In my last video, or not my last video, but when I installed the Pedal Commander, if you remember, I'm very big on reading instructions. Um, I feel those people get the short end of the stick because we all get these, toss them in the trash. So I'm big on instructions, but I already know how to install this, so I don't need them this time. Um, open some more. And yes, I pre-opened this to check everything out. Um, we have your adapter piece. Let's set this. You have two couplers, two different sizes. You have your hardware kit, screws, clamps, crankcase holes adapter. This is gonna be the little rubber seal that goes around the metal box when we get it inside. This is the actual tube, very nice. The actual tubing can in on there looks really good shiny this is the metal air box it's gonna be housed in a little dusty so that's that and then this is the actual air filter um, pretty nice and I actually have another piece coming in I bought the dry um, bag for it and I'm just waiting for that to come in I'll put that on at a later time and this one already had the third or the sixth technically clamp already on there so when we attach it to the adapter so there's the filter 
gonna put that back in here. Just a little instruction. So, this is all the materials that you're gonna be using. Um, so let's go ahead and get started removing this stuff up here. I'm using a little handheld uh, screwdriver, I guess. Um, you can change out the bits on it. Like I said, you're gonna be using the T27 Torx bit for it. Now, if you come over here and take a look at this, to get this off, you gotta take this, it just pops right off, this little cover, set that to the side. And then come here and take a look at this. If you look down in here, this is the, the screw that you're gonna be taking out. So, just take your, Let's set that to the side for now. This is side. Uh... Now this cover is being held on as you just pop it off. Um, I actually like to start in the back because I can't reach that far. So pop it up. Pop that back part up and you pop the front up and it comes off like that. It's being held on at these four points right here. This. Right, so take a look at the engine here. It's a little dusty, a little dirty. Still probably, still brand new, still a baby. Um, this is going to be what we're taking off this housing unit here. Uh, you're going to be removing your air temp sensor. Um, you're going to be removing the crankcase hose. Um, you're going to be loosening these clamps here. And these clamp, uh, these are five sixteenths. So let's go ahead and get that. here all right got that loosened up so now you want to be very careful when working with your air temp sensor you do not want to damage that there's a little red tab right here so that you can take it out so you pull that tab up and it pulls right out and just move it out the way for now to the side and you're gonna come over here Take out your crank case hose, uh, crank, crank case hose from the air box. Just pull that out like that. And that'll just sit there for now. And then you can get this hose off here and pull this one off of here. That just pulls right off. And this is the old unit. So we can actually set this to the side for now. Next, we're gonna actually take out the actual air box. There's two clamps holding it in place over here that you gotta play. Come over and take a look. Down in here, there's a clamp there, and there's a clamp here. You just pop them off like that. Just take this hood of the box off. Still clean in there. Thought it'd be dirtier. Set that to the side. And then actual. Oh, sorry. One more step. This piece here, if you come over here, you just pop it out. Pull it out of this. See if we can move this out of the way. The old air filter, still pretty clean. It wasn't that bad. Usually they like dark and really dirty and grit and grimy and stuff. So that's pretty good there. Still pretty clean. How do we got that air filter out? You just got the box, the housing to pull out, and it's just held on by grommets that you just. Pull that out like this. 
and there it is this is the housing unit uh, now they have the grommets still in here what you're gonna need to do is take out at least two of them because they're gonna go onto the um, metal housing unit so you just pull these out like that if you want to take the third oops if you want to take the third one out you can but you don't need it so I'm gonna just leave it in there for now and I should put these inside over here with that so now that we got everything out and everything clean um, this is what it looks like um, so let's go ahead and get everything back up on there all right so starting off you're gonna take You got your clamps here. One of them is a, uh, is a size 46. You got two 56s, one's a 48, and then a 52. You're gonna use the 52 and the 48 one right now. So check them, make sure you got the right ones. These two are the 56s. Yep, and leave them to the side for now. So you're gonna take one end, it's gonna go on your throttle body. So you wanna put that in like that oops make sure that fits yeah it's just hard to get on there you gotta kind of stretch it it's supposed to go over your throttle body as such put it over it get it on there secure Have it already on there I don't like to be clean so I like to have them like that all right so once you got that sitting on there now let's go ahead and set this up over here so like I said we can go ahead and put these grommets in now so you got the two you just pop them in at the bottom here like this they pop right in That and they sitting there as such. Now, next, you're gonna take the hardware kit that it comes with. You get two screws. Now, come here. What they recommend when you install these, put this one there. On this washer, there's a smooth side and there's a rougher side. This rougher side needs to go against the back of the thing so you want to make sure and you can tell the difference it's almost like it's a little tiny hump when you're rubbing up against it so you'll be able to tell and the same thing with this one smooth side down I'm gonna take your adapter this put it inside as such then on the back here you want to line up the holes find one hole line it up Screw in there. Start it. down you don't need to go too tight so you don't strip them just so till you get some resistance so then you're going to want to take the other coupler that it comes with matter of fact oops this is now where you're going to use the 256 size clamps put one in on there like that Take the other one on that side as such. So it should look something like that. Now I'm gonna straighten these up, but that's how you set that on there. I'm just tighten this down on this side at least. So that 
it's not coming off. All right, now like I said, this side can remain loose until you get the actual tubing on there. I'm gonna set that there for now. Now I wanna show you guys this. Um, on the old air box, you wanna take off your air temp sensor. Now I already got mine pre, like I pre-loosened it and got it off here. Come get close so you can see it. Um, if you look on here, there, these things can be difficult to get off, especially if you don't know how to do it. Um, now, these are fairly cheap. Um, you can get it at AutoZone for about like 30 bucks if you happen to break one of these. I just want to show you guys the way to do it so that you don't break it and you can just reuse the ones you have. Um, there's a little raised notch right there where when you have this in all the way, this goes over it and locks it in place because when you put this in, you put it in and you turn it clockwise to lock it in place and this little ledge here or this little notch will slide over this ledge and then fall right behind it and lock in place now in order to get that off what you have to do is the reverse you have to get this ledge or this little uh, notch over this ledge so you can back it out counterclockwise that can be very difficult now i'm not going to put it all the way back on there to show you how difficult it is because i don't feel like dealing with that right now but the best way or one of the ways that i found that you could do is take a small flathead screwdriver and like put it up under you know wedge it up under this little notch and lift it up you know push it a bit lift it up over this little ledge and then let it you know twist it a bit so it can slide over and then that way you could turn this counterclockwise to then you know pull it out so that's the best way to get it out and the way to get it in obviously put it in there's a little notch um little cross notches here so you would put it in it would go the other way but you would put it in push it all the way down and then twist it clockwise to lock it in place like i said but that's how you get that out now that we got that sensor off um we can actually go ahead and if you come over here and take a look at this they provide a grommet that you can put on the inside of the intake tube on this side that the air temp sensor is going to actually sit in so get that in there like that come on get in there like that and it'll sit like that and that's actually where the new air well not new but the air temp sensor is sensor this thing here is gonna go um, but right now what I'm gonna do is they give you a little crate case um, hose connector which screws in right here so you just screw this in as such get it on there like that all right they also give you this piece of um piping here that'll go over it and then this will go over the other end will go over take a look here it'll go over the crankcase hose so this end will go on that and then the other end will go on that um before it used to have the l-shaped uh kind but they give you this as a substitute so i'm gonna put this to the side for now next I want to finish this part here um it's really not a specific order you can go in but you have to go in but we're just doing this so now i'm going to put the filter on and like i said i ordered the little dry bag that'll um help the light rain and weather so and again this one already came with the sixth uh clamp so what you do is remember this side is already we already clamped that side down you take this, you just put it over as such, once you get that on there. And once again, this is also a 5 16th. So, ratchet, make sure that's on there all the way. And you and that's not coming off. Same as the other side. So, so now that we got this all together i'm gonna go ahead and put this little rubber seal go ahead and put this now so what you do is you can either start from the top and you it's got a little indent in here that you just plug in 
you just put it on there as such, and then you just follow it along. The rubber seal on all the way around. Um, you could you could pull it a little closer, but that's about as good as it's gonna get. So now that we got it on there, we got the filter on there, got it on there good. We're gonna uh, go ahead and put the unit inside here. Um, you're gonna be mounting these two holes on this part. Remember, like there were, like I said, there were three mounting points. You have one here, here, and here. This one only utilizes the two holes, so you're gonna be mounting it here. So put it in. Watch out for that. Line the holes up with the grommet. And just press it on in there. Same with the bottom one. Line it up, press it on in there as such. You know, sit snug like that. So now that that's in, next. Now that that's in, now we can go ahead and take our piping and get this all inside. Um, I'm gonna take this the other size, again, size 56. I'm gonna have it already on there. And then this one is already on there like we had before. Then you take the pipe, put it inside, and line it up with the other one. tight fit so just make sure you work it around and get it on there and once that's in you can go ahead and line up these second sets of brackets tight it's not going anywhere same as here not going anywhere now once you get that on there uh, we can go ahead and connect this little piece here so to do is just get it on there on this part it's a little hard to push on there so take a little elbow grease Once that's on there good, take the other hand, other end rather, and push it into crankcase connection. As such, you can do it beforehand if you want to, that makes it easier. So it'll sit like that. All right, so then next you take your air sense, air sensor, temp air temperature sensor, and you insert it into the provided grommet as such. All right, now once you get your air temp sensor in, um, you can go ahead and connect the um, 
Oh, excuse me, you can go ahead and connect it again. So you just bring it until you hear that click and then you push this little red tab in, right, tab in to lock it in place. And there's that. Um, got our crankcase holes installed. Um, everything is clamped and secured. Everything is where it's supposed to be. And that is everything. So now we can go ahead and install the cover back. Take your cover. And like I said, I like to start in the back. Line those holes up. And then you got the one. All right, so now you got that in place. Now you can put the screw back in. folks you see this thank you to my crap my cameraman dj and charles but there's the intake installed looks good looks looks much better than stock under the hood looks much better let's go ahead and start it up and get a sound difference Also too, when you get done installing this, you do want to start it up because you want to listen for any leaks or any type of rattling to make sure that everything is connected correctly and make sure there's no leaks or anything like that. So we're going to start it up. Sounds much better than stock. I'm listening. I don't hear any hissing or anything like that. So everything seems to be working. Everything seems to be in place. Um, so that was a successful install in my book. There you have it, guys. I want to thank you guys for watching. Like I said before on YouTube, there was literally nothing I could find for 20, let's say 2018 and up. The latest I saw somebody installing any type of air filter or um, intake rather um it's like 2013 so i feel like this would be a big help for anybody with the 2018 19 2020 um in that range so at least for the k&n system i know there's a lot of other great intakes like the um the engine intake which i was actually going to go with but i, I prefer k&n just because i've had them before and they're a good company um there's also the air aid um there's, there's, just, there's just a ton of other options on the market, but this is going to be specifically for the K&N 77 is the model number. Um, there's a couple other numbers, but I don't know them off the top of my head. But um, yeah, I want to thank you guys for watching. If this is your first time watching my channel and you found this helpful, please go ahead and subscribe, like, comment, and share for me. Um, you guys are much appreciated. And for those of you who've been watching my channel from day one, I want to say thank you guys as well. You guys are great. I love you guys. Um, and with that, I'll catch you on the next video. Thank you.